Here's a question that I have received recently and uh, one that uh, probably needs to be addressed. I don't see a lot of videos on it. The building codes require a six inch minimum for winder stairways. That would be the minimum distance here. And I drew the walk line, which a walk line is going to be one foot from the inside of the stairway. And I'm really not here to talk about the walk line. I'm here to point out the fact that these types of stairways where you have a just a diagonal line crossing a square um, landing might not be able to be able to be built anymore. And remember, this is just my personal opinion. You would need to check with your local building department for clarification. But I've seen plenty of stairways like this built in the past, even built a lot of them myself. But this six inch minimum that they're talking about, which is going to be in the corner here, could be a problem. So here you can see we do not have a, our minimum distance is zero inches. If we modify the stairway and make it a little longer here to give us our six inches, it's going to create a longer walk line, um, one foot, six inches instead of one foot, and which would make sense. We just added six inches to it. So this right here is what my interpretation of this particular building code is. And it would look something like this. So for those of you out there wondering if you can just draw a line right across your stairway, and build a set of stairs like this, um, you might want to think again because this is probably what they want to see. So again, check with your local building department. I will put some of the building code numbers in the video description box and uh, possibly some more links here to a few other things you might be interested in for winder stairways. And you can always go to the, to the website and I think you would click on Building Codes, which is in the Design tab. And go to Building Codes, you'll see Stairs. Click on that. There should be more information in there for um, Winder Stairway. So again, check with your local building department. I can't stress this enough. And if you do check with them, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get their interpretation in writing and have them sign something. I know they don't want to do stuff like that. They'll just brush you off and say, yeah, don't worry about it. But if you go and you design a particular building and you go down there in the building, you know, you, you uh, pay all your money, you hand your plans in, and the first thing they do is say, hey, you can't do something like this. You could end up wasting a lot of time with the building department when someone actually told you that you could and they're going to tell you that they never said anything. So I like to always have everything in writing just to save some time. And a lot of times when you do ask for something in writing, it makes the person think twice whether or not they know what they're talking about also.